What's going on guys? Today we are tinting a 2022 Chevy Colorado in Pro Nano Ceramic Tint from GeoShield. Uh, I'm in Las Vegas and it's super hot now, especially with summer approaching. Uh, this is a truck for one of my coworkers, so hopefully this tent uh, will help him and his kids uh, be nice and cool instead of going into a hot car. So throw in ceramic tin all around. All right, so both the front and rear windows, they're both under 20 inches and I'm using a 40 inch roll. So what I'm gonna do is split that in half and then I can use that same sheet for both the front and back window. All right, so this is why a magnetic peel board is super helpful. So I've got my whole sheet up here. I'm not struggling with it flapping around and everything. I've got magnets holding the film on and then I've measured 20 inches because it's a 40 inch roll. So I got a point here and here. I'm just gonna cut straight across there. All right, good to go. And the windows are only about 17 inches, so you can be plus or minus an inch or two. Uh, but now that didn't just fall off there. I've got the magnets holding that on. Uh, so now I can take this off and stick it on. All right, so now I've got to shape the windows. What I'm going to do is put my slip solution on there. And then I've got my kind of half sheet right here. And then I'm just going to stick that right on there. And there's plenty, like, there's plenty of uh, leftover film to cut that thing in half. Different vehicles are going to vary, of course. But, you know, I've got plenty of room to use that one sheet for both the uh, front and rear windows. All right, so I've lined the bottom edge along right here. Because that, that's pretty straight. There's no weird curves or anything. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut here, pull it over a little bit, and then cut here. And then that'll be my basic shape. Then I'll roll the window down, cut the shape of the window out here, then take it over to my glass board and finish up the cuts. All right, and then whenever I cut, I always start with a fresh blade, so break a blade off. And then I'm only putting a little bit out too. Like you probably only need about that much of blade out. You know, that way you're not gonna saw through the rubber gasket. Right? In fact, let me take some of this excess off. Oh, it's a little easier. So I'll take... In fact, that's a pretty large uh, rubber gasket right there. All right, and then over here. All right. So put that right in there at a 45 degree angle, and then I'm just going to kind of press against it. While I'm moving my finger up, just pressing right against that gasket. All right. And tear it away. Okay. And then that's my basic shape. And I don't want to cut this here right away on the other side. I don't want to cut that there on the other side. Because then when I go to put it on, it's going to be too short. So I'm just going to kind of untack that. Pull it over just a little bit. Probably not even that much. That's probably even too much. Just about an eighth of an inch. Yeah, that should be good right there. Okay. All right. And then that'll be my basic shape right there. Let's see, that's that cut? Yep. Go up a little bit higher with that one. Okay. And we can turn that away. Okay, so for the uh, glass board, I'm going to round these corners right here. And then basically, I'm just going to intersect where that shape of the window is from what I cut on the glass. Yeah, so that'll kind of go right like that. Okay, and let's see, I'm just going to follow that up there. Oh, just like that. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so that's the shape of our window. Now I wanna kinda round all these corners right here. So to do that, I'm just gonna crack off a fresh blade real quick. If you didn't know, like, if you have one of these knives, you can stick this in here and crack off the blade. All right, let's see. All right, so that's nice and round. Same thing over here. All right, it's nice and round. Cool. So that is the shape of our window. Uh, so I bottom loaded this window. That's where you put the bottom of the tin on first. Uh, this door panel has a weird uh, plastic part that rises up above the window. So I wanted to get that tucked in there first. You can kind of see it through the window here where it looks like the tint's not done, but that's just the uh, body panel. The tint went on fine. Uh, squeegee it on there. Make sure it's in place before you tack it down and you'll be all right. I just finished up a 15% ceramic tint job for a customer. Uh, didn't do the windshield, but I think it came out pretty good. And then I like to do gifts for the customers too. So when they open it up, we got a microfiber towel, a thank you card, some gummy bears, and then some uh, automotive air freshener. So just a little extra touch, just to let them know like, hey, your car's taken care of. Hey, thanks for watching me tint windows on the internet. Uh, if you liked it, consider hitting that like button. And if you want to see more content that involves vehicle washing, wrapping, and window tinting, consider giving me a subscribe because I put out view or uh, put out views, put out vehicles, put out videos uh, every couple weeks or so. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you like it and we'll see you on the next one.